Hello everyone, it's Chad Redding here with Ruck Rabbit Outdoors. I'm out on this beautiful Easter Sunday today here in Penn's Woods and I'm out exploring some trails for some upcoming trips and I figured I'd take a second or two and just kind of introduce you to something I just recently picked up. A lot of us woodsmen really talk about our tools. Matter of fact, it's one of the topics that usually come up when two around camp when guys are out in the woods. We usually talk about the quality of our tools, how we maintain our tools for readiness, and about how we use our tools. But the one tool, which is actually the most important tool out here that is sometimes neglected, is our mind. And that is the most important tool out here because that is what separates us from the animals and enables us to do everything we do and you know do the skills that we have out here and what i picked up was this book 101 skills you need to survive in the woods by kevin estella kevin estella is a really awesome individual i know him he was my original teacher in bushcraft and wilderness survival skills and I've learned a lot from him and he started me on this journey and he's just always been supportive of me and he's just a really nice guy in general. He's also a school teacher, a world traveler, and a practitioner of, of Filipino martial arts known as Sayuk Kali. I hope I pronounced that correctly Kevin. <clears throat> and it really shows in this book really shows. Um, the first thing that really grabbed me about this book was right off the bat, he talks about the mental attitude, you know, how to be men mentally prepared for a survival situation or to be out here. And that's something that a lot of people skip over and they don't really hit on. They just go right to the skills. Uh, he talks about the feeder mindset also positive mental attitude and um, something known as the Sayuk Kali readiness formula. I'm just starting to get into this book. So, you know, from what I've read and scanned over, you know, it's really awesome. It's preparedness, willingness, and awareness, which makes you ready. And I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. You know, you need to be aware of your, of your surroundings when you're out here. Uh, you need to be willing to do what you need to do to survive or willing to do what you need to do to make yourself com comfortable and be prepared as far as gear and equipment. Um, one thing I really like about this book is if you look at the edge of it here where it opens, the book is color coded, which makes, you know, in the field here really easy to find what you're looking for. So if I'm looking for fire, for example, I go right to red. Just want to get the first page. Bam, fire skills. And um, just a really easy to use, you know, easy to read book. Um, I like it a lot. And it's not just because it was written by Kevin. Um, he also talks about how to, uh, you know, once you learn the basics, how to up the ante as far as like, make make it harder on yourself to be able to to use them in a you know a more worse situation let's just say i cut my hand you know so practice my skills one-handed um, how to make things more advanced and um i like that also i mean he just he really just you know he only just skims the surface i mean he really shows a lot of stuff in here but i tell you what he shows some things i've never heard seen before in other books and you know it's just really really a good good read and I highly recommend it you know and just don't take my word for it there's a lot of people that just recently got this and it's just awesome you know so I just thought I'd share that with you I just wanted to you know share something I picked up and I believe would be a definitely a good addition to your library and just would be awesome to read and help you out here so fair weather and safe journeys